Hi everyone! Hi! Hi, it's even Amanda here from the PB team, uh, just with our weekly live for Thursday afternoon. Um, yeah, so just rounding up the news for you, so the story that's got, sorry about the plague, um, we're in our courtyard, there's nothing oh, we can do about it. It's a lovely sorry. day, we wanted to be outside, <laughs> but it's a bit less predictable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. really sorry about that. Um, but the story that's got the most traffic on our website this week, which you may have already heard about, but Sally Durant Training and Consultancy has gone into administration after 10 years of trading. Um, she ceased to trade from Tuesday, May the 14th, and obviously there's been a lot of talk online about this and what it means for learners who were undertaking the courses. So we've been in touch with both um, the London College of Beauty Therapy and Babtap and Sivtac as well, and so I just wanted to share with you the statements that they've given to us so you know what's going on and what you can do if you're one of the people affected. Um, so, LCBT Chief Executive Christine Anne Cavalier commented and said, we are deeply sorry to hear that Sally Durant has gone into administration. As an industry, we should work together to ensure learners' studies are not affected. LCBT has been delivering level four aesthetic SIPCAT qualifications and will continue to deliver these. We will ensure all learners are enrolled with us to be able to complete their course. Any learners who are concerned by this development should call LCBT direct as we will ensure that they are able to continue their studies as normal with full support. And Leslie Blair, the chair of BABTAC and SIPTAC, has also commented as well and said, we realise this is a very difficult and complex situation for all concerned and would like to do what we can to advise and assist all affected students. Any learners currently registered with Sally Durant and wishing to receive updates and advice can forward through their details, including their full name, contact details, course title, and current standing to inquiries at sidcac.com and we will respond to you directly. Um, I know that's a lot of information just to take in. So the story's on our website and you can see the full statement from Sally about why the company's gone into administration, the reasons behind it, and you can find all those details from LCBT and from SIPTAC as well. So, you know, we just want to keep you informed and as this develops, we'll keep updating the story and keep letting you know about what's going on. Yeah, and options for students that are studying. Yeah. And talking of BabTech, actually, we saw BabTech yesterday um, at an event. There was quite an interesting event yesterday in the Houses of Parliament which was the launch of this um, an economic impact assessment of the hair and beauty sector on the UK economy. Um, and this is a really weighty report that's been compiled by uh, the Hair and Barber Council in partnership with BabTac, because the two associations are, have linked up. And it's a report really into basically the, the value of the um, hair and beauty sector to the UK economy, um, which is between 5.6 billion and 6.6 .6 billion, so really significant. Um, so yeah, the report was commissioned really to try to demonstrate the value, to demonstrate how big the beauty and hair sector is, how many people are working in it, how important it is to the UK economy, um, partly for the reason of lobbying for regulation in the sector. So the government had said to these associations, okay, like, we're on board with the concept of regulation, but you need to demonstrate really how valuable the sector is and the fact that people in the sector want this regulation, that clients want this regulation, that there's a need for it and a call for it. So this is a major step forward in that really. Um, and having lots of people joining together to, to produce this, having BabTag and the Hair and, um, and Barber Council working as one, I think really also lends weight to it to kind of give that united voice and that united approach. So it was a great event yesterday. We've um, got the full stats from the report. Um, well, the, the key stats from the report are all on our website. Um, so check out the story. Uh, there's a lot more stats in here. So we'll be bringing you a bit more information from it um, over the, the coming days as well. Because I think there's lots to come out of it. Lots of interesting information. Yeah, really interesting. Um, and the other bit of big news this week, which um, some of you have been talking about on Instagram, is that plastic straws and cotton buds are going to be banned in the UK from Finally. April 2020. <laughs> Yay! Finally. No more single-use plastics. Yeah, I mean, it's just been such an issue mm. and, you know, the damage it's doing to the environment is so bad. And But I think the government's making really good strides. We had the microbead ban, now we've got this. Um, obviously, again, it's got people raising questions about wet wipes and whether yeah. they're going to be the next thing to be affected. But it's such, such a good move. And, you know, the government really are trying to do stuff to try and reduce the damage of single-use plastics. Yeah. And, um, because it's not necessary. I think in all but very few cases where somebody might need to use a plastic straw rather than a paper one, yeah. it's almost everyone can, can cut these out of, of their salons and their mm. spas and, and their lives. Yeah, and there's lots of like 
bamboo cotton bud alternatives that you guys have actually been speaking about on our Instagram and some of you have already been at the forefront of this and mm. you know doing your bit for the environment way before this became a bigger issue so yeah it's really good news um, we're really excited about it yeah. And, yeah let's see what happens with wet wipes yeah that's the next one still <laughs> yeah. on the agenda I think yeah and then I think that's all it for news but we have some exciting company news um, well, we just wanted to, to remind you of our next event coming up, really, which is our networking event in Birmingham. Um, some of you might have been to the networking events we've had at the London and Manchester shows, but the Birmingham one is on 1st of July and it's a standalone event, so there's a lot more focus, a lot more time. I know at shows sometimes it can be a bit hectic and not everyone has the time to come to, to the networking. Um, so the Birmingham event will have two sessions, a morning one and an afternoon one. And it's a chance to get together with other salon and spa owners, chat about the issues that are affecting you, but also to have some advice because we've got some really good people leading the discussions. We'll have some kind of really experienced key salon and spa owners leading the discussions um, and talking about issues um, about retailing, about staff and recruitment, anything really that's kind of a, impacting your business. So have a look again on our website and um, there's all the details are on there, but it's on the 1st of July in Birmingham. So and come along if you can. Yeah, don't miss out. <laughs> Be there. Hot Be there. of the year. Exactly, we will. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's it for this week. So, um, oh, yes. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> sorry, just don't a go. Reminder. We have one more thing. Sorry. <laughs> I've got it right here, so I don't know how I forgot. Um, I've got the new issue in, which is exciting. So here's a little sneak peek. This will be um, mailed today, so it'll be landing with people in, over the next few days. And this is our July issue. Uh, sorry, our June issue. <laughs> We're working on July, doing. that's why we've got confused, but no, June's coming. Yeah, we've just started working on July, because yeah. June's out now, and then it'll be reaching reaching you very soon. So we'll do an, another little update of what you can expect in this issue soon in our next live, and talking about exactly what we're covering and why, but it's a little peek for now. Yeah, and so that finally actually yeah, is everything, so have a really nice long weekend, guys, yeah. and we'll see you next week. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.